Welcome back. Uh, still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa uh, with uh, Haji Atiku Abubakar emerging as uh, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party for the 2023 general elections. The attention of Nigerians has now turned to other political parties as they elect their candidates. The new Nigeria People's Party has uh, Senator Rabi Musa Kwankwaso, uh, former governor of Kano State, while the Labour Party has elected Dr. Peter B as its presidential flag bearer. The ruling All Progressives Congress uh, will hold its presidential primary from June 6 to June 8. Who are the contenders Atiko Bubakar could face and what are his chances against them? We have joining us on the breakfast this morning to discuss this our guest, uh, Shegmoa Kinwande, who is a member of the All Progressives Congress. He is reaching us from Ondo State, uh, correct to be precise. And Mr. Kinwande, thank you very much for your time. Um, what are the chances at, of Atiku being a former vice president and also being a, a five-time presidential aspirant? You know, what are his chances against uh, the pack, the chasing pack, and the, his fellow contenders for the uh, presidential position come 2023? Mr. Kimwadi, can you hear me, please? Yeah, um, like you rightly said, what are the challenges? Absolutely, I can, I can hear you, loud and clear. All right, please go on. Yeah, so thank you, this, um, thank you very much for having me this morning, um, for letting me share my thoughts on, um, on um, what I think about the emergence of, um, of the um, ex-Vice President, um, Atiku Abubakar, um, emerging as the, as the uh, flag bearer in the opposition party, which is the uh, PDP. Um, for me, um, I think I've been in the front one of politics since 1993. He has, he has, he has, he has been coming up and um, wanted to be the president of the nation since 1993. So he, 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 he's a big wig in, in, you know, in the politics and because so for, for him, I said big congratulations to him. But there's nothing to be afraid of, that is true. There's no reason why um, the, the, the progressive Congress should be afraid of the emergence of, of of the um, ex vice president, yes, of course, he is the first to reckon with considering um, what he has done in the politics, considering how he has moved even till now. So, if we imagine as the presidential candidate of the party, uh, it may very well that uh, um, he knows he knows how to sweep the carpet. But for us, it is not just about sweeping the carpet; it is about bringing the nationality to the front corner and solving it. To ensure very well that all Nigeria have equity, and to ensure that uh, all Nigeria has stake in in, in, in our administration. I mean, state administration. I'm talking about the dividend of democracy. At, at, at the table of everybody, we all we all know what is happening in the economy right now. Now the question is, will Atiku Abubaka, the American Atiku Abubaka, as a flag of the PDP, will it solve what is going on in the economy? It will not solve. It will not solve. You agree with me that? Um, the, the, his principal, the, 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 the former president of the, you know, of the Federation, uh, uh, Dr. Job, said categorically speaking that, that, as if, that the amount of money that people have, you know, have stolen in Nigeria is enough to feed over 300 million Nigeria for over 400 years. Uh, 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 so so is you, you're, quoting, you're quoting someone who said that the amount of money Atiku has stolen um, I think Obash Sanjo is what you, you I don't know if that quote is true. I've seen it popping up on social media. Um, but even if OBJ said those words and said those things, um, Atiko Bakar has not been tried by a court, uh, you know, Nigeria or anywhere in the world and found guilty of um, corruption, of stealing public funds. So we might be uh, stepping on, 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 uh, uh, on, on bottles here if we start saying that on, on TV. International TV. Yeah, um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reiterating what his principal said. I'm reiterating what his principal said. Now, who best know his family? Who best know a family? If not, I'm someone in the family. Who best know a child? If not the father I, I, I'm, or, the, I'm or the mother? I'm only saying that that we don't have anything to prove it. That's what I'm saying. I'm, yeah, of course. I'm only reiterating what the principal said. So I'm not saying anything out of the extraordinary year. I've only said what the principal said. But however, she think the go to the go was apart from that. Where I'm actually pointing out is this is do we need do we need do we need uh, uh, an article of Bubaka 
um, 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 are the solution to Nigeria at this time? I feel very well that that is the question for Nigeria to actually answer. But where I'm going on is this is, Antigua and Boca is a good ticket for us. We have always, the, the All Progressive Party has always, has always taken him as a baby, you know, when it comes to um, um, the winning and hope. It happened the last time when uh, uh, um, uh, the president, um, PNB, uh, President Mahmoud Bouhari, has always, has always, has always swept him off the carpet, carpet number of times. I've told you, you have been in, the, in politics, as in politics since 1993, and we have always shown him who is superior when it comes to, when it comes to um, leading the nation. So I'm so, it, it's a man, yes, I said, bring credentials to him. I tell you, he's a big media. Yeah. I said, bring credentials to him. But nonetheless, there is nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. Um, uh, is there anyone in the All Progressives Congress who has the pedigree? Uh, yeah, you don't need to mention names if you don't want to, but uh, are, are there candidates, let me put it that way, in the All Progressives Congress as we speak, as parents who have the pedigree to match the pedigree of Atiku Abubakar? Now, uh, you will agree with me that, um, as, as of today, numbers of credible, numbers of competent, numbers of impactful, influential, and even inspirational um, um, candidates has come out to lay out their own cards on the table, you know, saying that they want to go for that. But they pick up this, um, this presidential form. And yesterday, you agree with me that, as of yesterday, we have one of the big in our party who has, who, who has done uh, um, the screening, successfully done the screening. It was done and dusted. So um, for me, there are numbers of credible, competent, impactful leaders in the party who have shown interest. And I'm, and, and I'm very, very sure that there is no one of them, there is no one of them who is competent enough to lead the nation. All of them are competent to lead the nation. However, just that we have some that might be at A, some might be at B, some might be at C. But I'm talking about their level of, 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 of impact, yes. There are three things that define the leader. Impact, influence, and inspiration. These categories of presidential aspirants have been, you know, they have shown these categories of, 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 of leadership, you know, and why they are at the first point of policy. So for me, I might not be able to mention it in a party categorically because we are waiting for the outcome of a primary uh, as stated by, uh, by the party leadership. So anyone that, anyone that comes out, anyone that finally becomes the flag bearer of the party is, is, is big enough to actually lead the forefront of the, of, 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 you know, of the democracy. All right, so you, you've categorized it just like some categorize uh, musicians in Nigeria to A class, B class, and C class. Um, but when we talk about pedigree, uh, Atiku has been taking a shot at the elections you now five times. I don't know how many of the aspirants in the APC have ever had a shot at that seat. He has built alliances you know, all over the country, and he has had a structure and people who have been working for him in previous elections. Um, so when it comes to pedigree, is there anyone in the other parties, especially the All Progressives Congress, that has the pedigree of Atiko Boka? He's had his campaigns before all over the country. He's been part of um, uh, forums. He's been part of debates and discussions about the presidency, so people know him. Is there anyone in the APC and now, uh, anyone who has um, that um, pedigree. Like you already said, like already said that um, Atiku Abraka is, is a big week here yeah, when it comes to Nigerian politics. And is there anyone in the party, in our own party, who can who, uh, who has the same pedigree? Not just who has the same pedigree. I won't I won't put I won't put some of our A list as someone who has the same pedigree. But people who has more pedigree, they are there are two categories of people. Is either you say the, the same category? or more category. We have people who have more category or more pedigree than this um, candidate you just mentioned. For me, I'll just give a critical analysis. I'll give a critical analysis. Look at Nigeria, for example. While, we were, while, while Nigeria was suffering from recession, you know, when Nigeria was suffering from recession and when Nigeria actually had this issue of pandemic and co, you can see the, you know, the vice president, a uh, 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 person of Yemi Oshiba, you're coming out at the front corner, taking economic issue very serious. This is someone who has been at the forefront of the social intervention plan. You can see what is actually happening in that, in a, in a, you know, in a rural urban uh, electrification plans also too. These are the people that, you know, they have shown their pedigree. They have shown, you know, what they can do. They have shown what they are made of. Like I said, I mentioned, I, I mentioned the last time, I said, 
There are three ways to measure or to measure um, a leader. I said impact, influence, and inspiration. These are the three things that actually tells you that, that every of the aspirants, now this is it, every of the aspirants, not just a, a, a professional leadership job, has proven in time being that they have more pedigree than I think of Abakam. Like I know too, what about Lagos State, for example? Look at the GDP of Lagos. Lagos has a GDP of over of over three hundred and thirty billion dollars. I've been about I've been about uh, I'm satisfied about twenty million people. Lagos is far is far far more than three or four countries together. I give a critical analysis. On this one, for example, has a GDP of eight point four billion dollars. Ekiti has a GDP of two point seven billion dollars. Tatumi and Princip has a GDP of four hundred million dollars. Gambia has a GDP of 1.7 million. It means if you compare uh, um, South America and Princip, um, Gambia, and Prince, Gambia, they are not. They are not. If, if, if you compare to them together, they are. They you know they can't even measure at par with the city. Talking of Ondo State and talking of Lagos State, which is a country on, on its own. So, so so tell me who is more or who has more pedigree than Atiku Abubakar? These are people that they have shown without me. They have shown in time past. They have shown in recent times why they can be at the forefront and why they can always sweep Atiku candidacy at the carpet. We need a leader who no. has shown in time past. We need a leader who has been at the front burner of Nigeria issues. We need a leader who has seen it all in governance. Not okay. All right. Um, um, let, let, let's let, let's 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 look at. Um, we'll come back to to the All Progressives Congress, but let's um, look at the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, um, Dr. Pitobi. He has uh, had a relationship with uh, Atiko Walker. Do you think he has the guts? He has the grit to go and take on Atiko Abubakar and fight for the position or the office or the seat of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Why am I asking that? It's because he was running mate to Atiku. When Atiku declared, Peter B. went and sat down there and smiled. Um, when Atiku emerged as the, uh, the flag bearer of the PDP, Peter B. put out a tweet and uh, congratulated Atiku and called Atiku his leader and elder brother. Um, can Peter B. take Atiku on? Now, you agree with me that it wasn't only Peter Obi that congratulated um, Atiku Abaka. Even um, Bola Hamed, Ashwadu Bola Hamed, Tinubu, also congratulated Peter Obi. And all Nigerians, all Nigeria, every elder statesman also congratulated him. So, so for me, um, congratulating, congratulating him does not mean that you can't run against him. Now, for Peter Obi, Peter Obi is a, is, is, is a, fantastic, uh, a, a fantastic person. We can see what he, what he has done uh, while he was the governor of Anambra. We can see... Um, um, how good he has been when it comes to um, if him feeling what every Nigerian felt, just that, um, I'm sorry, he might actually be in the wrong place right now, and even in time being, he has been in the wrong place. If he had been in the right place, perhaps, maybe, maybe, maybe he would have actually have a chance to actually find a way to solve um, one of these, some of these issues, because this is it. Um, uh, 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 Paula White said, you cannot, or you, you can't put um, a new wine into an old white skin. It is, it is extremely not possible. It will rub off on each other. What you need is a new one. Okay, Shegua Kiwande, since... Are you there? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's here. All right. All right. It seems you had some uh, technical issues, but so you're saying you can't put uh, new wine in old wine skin. You were making a point. Shen, why are you there, please? <laughs> All right. We're having uh, some technical difficulties with our guest there. Uh, Shegu, can you hear me? Oh, okay. We will have to uh, try and uh, reconnect with, with Shegun Akiwande, who is a member of the All Progressives Congress uh, in Ondo State, where he's reaching us from. Um, we're still looking at the contenders who will stand against Atiku Abubakar, and 
his chances against him after he emerged as the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Nigeria's leading opposition party, um, following a presidential primary election at the national stadium in Abuja, the Moshe Rabiola Stadium, particularly precisely at the velodrome of that stadium. Um, of course, a, a poll was conducted some time ago, and I'm just going to um, open that uh, report right now because uh, it had some interesting information. It was a survey conducted uh, uh, by Nextier. And next year is a multi-competency uh, advisory firm and a data tier and data analytics digital communications firm. Um, uh, this result or the research result, the survey result was released by um, a certain Dr. Indibusi Nwokolo, who is a partner and research leader next year. Um, it said that the duo of uh, Vice President Yemiya Shibajo and uh, former Anambra State Governor Peter B. Um, who then was of the PDP, now LP, uh, emerged the most preferred presidential aspirants ahead of the 2023 elections. Now, the survey, they said, uh, aimed to gauge Nigerians' preferences uh, for presidential candidates uh, to understand the challenges that they would, uh, would like the next government to address promptly and also to decode how ethnic and gender biases would inform the next election. Um, so it's, it was judged across uh, 467 responses that the most preferred candidate for that uh, position of president in Nigeria uh, were Peter Obi and Yemi Oshibajo. Um, uh, Peter Obi scored 46% from that survey. Yemi Oshibajo, 28%. Uh, Bola Tinubu, 7.5%. And Atiku Abubakar, 3%. Uh, All right. Um, he also said the most preferred candidates for vice president were Aminu Tambuao, who scored 28% in that survey. Musa Kwanko saw 19%, Peter Obi 16%, Bukola Saraki 6.9%, Yensom Wike 6.4%, and Yemi Shibajo 5.8%. I'm sure the, um, the candidates who emerge at the primaries of the various parties will not be looking at this poll to elect <laughs> their running mates. They'll have different dynamics that will inform who they pick or select, rather, not elect, select as their uh, running main. But, um, you know, polls are polls, and surveys are surveys, and uh, you can't ignore them. However, historically in the country, um, we've not always had a, a match with the results uh, in reality uh, when compared to the outcome of surveys or polls that have been uh, uh, conducted. But I'm sure if you ask uh, next here, um, they will tell you that this is uh, a quite a reliable uh, survey that they conducted. Quite interesting. I do not know if we have a guest back on the line. Okay, I'm told we have um, Shenwa Kimwande back on the line with us. Uh, Shenwa, you, you were saying, you're making a point rather before the internet um, interrupted the conversation. Yeah, Please thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear, Shenwa. Sure. Loud and clear, Shenwa. Uh, um, I was making I was making a on uh, on Peter Obi and I told you I said um, Peter Obi emerges as um, as um, um, as a flag bearer in Labour Party. Um, you know, uh, it, 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 it's a fantastic one here. Yeah? And I said it wasn't Peter Obi that actually tweeted or that actually um, presented with uh, with um, Atikura Abubakar. Likewise, to uh, people like Bola uh, uh, um, uh, Bola and other men when well, many were in the year also I also credited him too. You know, so for me. Uh, the, the main point is this is for Peter Obi, he just is a fantastic, he's a fantastic man. I tell you, he's a fantastic man. He has, he has, he, he has uh, 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 more knowledge about the economy. Just that the, the major injury is, uh, 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 is actually in the wrong place. That's the truth. In, in the wrong place. Um, uh, uh, Paula White said you cannot put. Um, an old wine or a new wine to an old wine skin. You need to put a new wine into a new wine skin. So for him, uh, uh, wherever he is right now, I wish him best of luck. I wish him good luck. But just that, if we have been in the right channel, if we have been in the right place, where uh, where the, uh, uh, it, 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 it's kind of person um, would have been more appreciated, and where the kind of person would have been more put to use for us to get the best out of it. Because whether you like it or not, a gold does not become a gold at first. Goals are always rough until when they pass this through fire, or when they pass through fire, then they finally become good. Why? If they, while they are passing through fire, impurities have to be pushed out. 
So if Peter Obi has to be as you know has been in the all progressive party, um, perhaps maybe the fire of him, maybe the fire removing those impurities in him will have been touched on him and he will have been a refined man like what Nigeria really wants. So for us, if uh, in a fantastic man, like I said, he did a lot of great things while he was the governor of of of, of Anambra, of course. And after he, he left, he. We sincerely apologize uh, for the interruption there. Um, our guests are obviously having uh, network issues. Um, it happens from time to time. Uh, we'll try our best to reconnect with him. Uh, but we're still looking at the uh, contenders and those who uh, a tick of could possibly face um, in the 2023 uh, presidential election, having emerged as uh, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. The attention of Nigerians has now turned to the processes in all these other parties. Uh, currently, the All Progressives Congress ruling party in Nigeria is in the process of screening its presidential aspirants. Uh, yesterday, 11 of them were screened. Look at that more in depth with the next guest. Um, but who are the leading contenders? In the All Progressive Congress, you have the likes of um, Rotimi Chibika Mechi, a former governor of River State and Minister of Trans former Minister of Transportation, who resigned because he had to do so in order to focus on his ambition to be Nigeria's next president. Um, how does uh, Amechi uh, stand against uh, Atiko Bokar in terms of credentials, in terms of qualifications, in terms of uh, performance, um, and in terms of um, perception? How does he stand? We have a uh, former um, governor of Lagos State, Bola Metinbu, who is also a leader of the All Progressives Congress, a leading aspirant in that race. Vice President Emil Shibajo is also there as well, um, still from the All Progressives Congress. Now, these are some of the leading names uh, we can talk about. We have the Southeast Bloc of the uh, All Progressives Congress, the likes of um, Governor of Ebony State. You have the likes of Rocha Zokrocha, who is cooling his heels right now in EFCC custody. Um, you have the likes of uh, um, former uh, governor of, of Abia State, Oji Zokalu and Co. These are some of the names uh, in the All Progressives Congress. Um, of course, we can't forget Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso of the NNPP, who is there. And as we have mentioned, um, uh, Dr. Peter Obi of Labour Party. Well, time will tell how they will perform against Atiko Abubakar um, on the day of the election. We're uh, counting down to the end of the primaries. The All Progressives Congress will conclude it, will hold its primaries between uh, June 6 and June 8. And of course, we're still going to see all other parties also have their primaries. And then we'll get into the campaigning period. And this will be a longer campaigning period or campaigning season than we had in the last election. Therefore, I'm sure we'll have enough time to assess um, the offer, the manifestos, and a prospect of the various candidates. That's the size of our first major conversation for today. We'll take a break. And when we come back, we look at the All Progressives Congress and its ongoing screening of its presidential aspirants. Stay with us.